Hey everyone, uh, so this is my third video about the Cork DSN-12 synthesizer and in the last video we learned about uh, sound synthesis and uh, so far all of our sounds uh, have been rather static so uh, if we play them they start immediately and if we stop playing them they just cut off immediately and uh, this sounds rather static and inorganic um, and uh, one way to change this is by utilizing the envelope generator and that's what we are going to talk about in this video. So the envelope generator consists of four knobs uh, which um, modify four values um, and I think it's important to know that um, three of those four knobs uh, manipulate time values and only one of those uh, manipulates uh, a uh, volume val value and uh, I think uh, it's best explained if we just uh, uh, try it out uh, if we ma manipulate uh, the attack volume um, we basically say it will take this amount of time uh, before our um, tone reaches its highest volume and the highest volume we have set uh, with this knob here uh, so let's try this out and as we can hear there's a slight uh, increase at the beginning of our uh, tone uh, we can make this more pronounced and uh, we can also see it maybe make it more extreme and uh, we also have a decay time and uh, this basically uh, is the time it takes to reach the sustain val uh, volume so this is the time it takes to, to reach the highest volume which we set with this knob and this is the time it takes uh, to reach the sustain uh, volume which we set with this knob and as this is more or less uh, uh, set to its highest uh, value um, it's identical with this volume so if we tone that down a little we should hear that our tone will increase for this amount of time till it reaches its highest volume and then will take this amount of time till it decreases to the sustain volume So this was rather fast, maybe try it like this and set the sustain a little lower and uh, the sustain volume is more or less uh, uh, the volume uh, that our tone takes when we keep pressing uh, or, or keep playing it without releasing uh, the button and right now when we release the button it uh, cuts off immediately and uh, we can change that by changing the release uh, knob so now it will take this amount of time till it reaches uh, its lowest volume and uh, maybe let's, let's have it uh, like this So right now it uh, starts immediately with its highest volume because the attack uh, value is set to zero, the decay is to zero, sustain equals the uh, highest volume and uh, the only knob that we altered is the release volume. And uh, if we set it higher and we play our sound, it now has this um, slight decay uh, when, when we release the button.
Okay, so now we have some basic understanding of what the envelope generator does and how it applies to the amplitude of our tone. Uh, but we can't only apply it to the amplitude, we can also use the envelope generator uh, for our pitch and for our uh, filter. And we can do this by manipulating uh, these two knobs. Um, this one's for the pitch and this one's for the uh, filter. So by doing that right now with our envelope generator set to zero, uh, let's set this to zero two, highest volume zero, we can hear that um, this will increase our pitch immediately as well as decrease it. And it does so because uh, right now the envelope is set to an immediate attack, so it immediately uh, jumps to its highest point, which we will set with this. So this sets uh, the highest or lowest pitch. And if we increase the time it takes to reach uh, the highest pitch, uh, we can hear how the envelope applies to pitch. Let's look at that. And we can also do it in the other direction. So now it will take this amount of time till it reaches uh, this uh, frequency, which is lower than our base frequency. So let's listen to it. And of course, we can also apply decay. So it will, uh, let's make it like this. So now it will take this amount of time to reach uh, this uh, frequency. And then after it reached it, it will take this amount of time to reach a frequency that is somewhere, somewhere between the base frequency and this higher frequency. So let's uh, listen to that. And as you can see and hear, uh, it does just that. And we can also make it uh, use the release. So it will return after this amount of time to our base frequency. And uh, right now, uh, you, you uh, can probably see and hear that um, the envelope uh, not only applies to the pitch, but also to the volume. And if we want to set it uh, so that it only applies to our pitch, uh, we can use this lever, which will set our amplitude to a uh, more or less static amp amplitude, uh, meaning that the envelope generator doesn't apply, and now it only applies to the pitch. And of course, uh, the, the release uh, time won't do anything because it, uh, as soon as we release the button, uh, our tone will stop playing. So keep that in mind. And of course, we can also apply, uh, let's set this to the top, apply the envelope generator to our filter. And to see what it does, uh, let's just set this to the default values. Um, we can try it and manipulate it. And we see right now it doesn't do anything, except when we go in this direction. And um, if we maybe set the cutoff frequency uh, a little lower, um, and then manipulate this uh, this uh, knob. We can see that it now um, raises the cutoff frequency this um, uh, by this amount, and it will apply immediately because again our envelope is set to an immediate attack. 
So we can change that by changing the attack time and now it will take this amount of time to reach um, this frequency beginning from here or this amount of, of frequency increase from the cutoff frequency. Uh, let's have a listen. And we can hear how our uh, and our, our um, let's cut our tone has this modulation by our uh, filter, and uh, our envelope generator basically automatically does this at the start. And again, we can also um, say. Um, use the decay uh, values and sustain values and if we put uh, this one back it will also apply to the release okay and that's about it uh, for the envelope generator i hope that this has become somewhat clear i know that uh, this isn't uh, I know that I had some problems uh, understanding it the first time I came across an envelope generator. So uh, don't worry, you will get you will get it uh, eventually. Okay, bye.